Hey guys, welcome back once again to our YouTube channel Ships and Port, where we tell you regarding the shipping information in day-to-day -day maritime business. In our last video, we discussed regarding the phases of new seaport development. The phases which includes the usage of terminal and the environmental studies which concern in the development of new seaport. So uh, we will discuss now the next phase of C new seaport development. So stay tuned with this video. Please share and subscribe to your friends. So let's start again. So friend, let's start with the next phase for new seaport development, which is uh, site evaluation. Site is uh, basically the place of the port, and we will evaluate all the factors regarding the site evaluation the first factor will be the opportunities and constraint the place of the port will decide the various opportunities to the development of the new port and the other constraints which affect the development of the new seaport for suppose if the the port which is uh, being constructed at with such site where there will be an added advantage to the public or say any company then it will be called as the opportunity and on the other side if we discuss regarding the constraint which may be the any factors such as human factor political factor environmental factors so opportunities and constraints are the sub factors which decides in the development of new seaport and which regards to the site evaluation geotechnical investigation this type of investigation will uh, concerns regarding the uh, land structures uh, layers of the land where the seaport is development and how it is concerned with the new port sea development for example how the if any earthquake in the future which may get a uh, very severe uh, shot to the new port which is development so the study of the land structure and the investigation which are also called geotechnical investigation concerns in the new seaport development next factors for the site evolution is vessel access the vessel access is the major factor which decide the operation of the new seaport and its development. If the vessel would arrive at the port very easily, then the port will have a good advantage in its operation and its working. If vessel uh, access is very complex, then it will be a very hard for the port to operate and they will have the many obstacles road access decide the <coughs> regarding the uh, uh, arrival and departure of the various uh, trailers vehicles and other transportation devices used in the land side so road should be a, a very much important factor in development of the port which is the which the which decides the movement inside the port and outside the port the fourth one is sorry the fifth one is the rail access the port should be developed in such a way that the rail should easily get access for its movement for cargo container uh, the liquid terminal etc various other availability of the utilities and reliability the various other sources should be developed at the port port to have advantage to the public and the laborers working there electrical power is a major factor which decides the development of new seaport the various devices and components should get easily be developed and constructed for the source of electricity hence the and the <coughs> power from various electricity companies should easily be uh, get access to the port site and the working of the port will definitely a major factor and will be playing its role water sanitary are also the main factor which will 
affect development of new seaport. Water is required at the port in abundance. The resource is should be developed at port site and the accumulation of water is very much needed. Sanitary is the <coughs> the place where the people will use it for its convenience and the rest. The last is the constructability analysis. The construction of the new port and its analysis will be a major factor prior to the development of the new sea port. Then the availability of the material also plays the important role in the development of new sea port. If the material will be easily available for the construction of the new sea port, then it will be the advantage. If there will be a constraint in getting the raw material at the port side, then it will be a very much uh, affecting to the new sea port development. I hope you like this video. Then please share with your friend and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.